Genesis Electric Metal Shear product review for you guys. I found these on Amazon for you guys looking to buy on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description down below if it's something you think you need. And in this video, I'm going to show you some random cuts, crossing ribs, angle cross ribs, turns, radius cut, whatever you think you might need, whatever project you got going on while you're looking up the review, I hope to cover it here for you guys. Let's get into the box real quick. So I will say you can't find this exact same thing at your local box stores. I did. The only difference was is this logo here was slightly different. This one on Amazon has a little hook here. I think that little hook is maybe for the Bob the Builder tool belt, really small clips on. It won't hook onto mine and uh, I'm not a big guy, random belt. So don't count on that. It does say cutting capacity is aluminum 14 gauge, steel 18 gauge, stainless steel 20 gauge. It is quartered so you don't have to worry about batteries, charging, whatever. There's a little tooth here with two prongs and the bottom one goes up and down in between them so it cuts that way. I've used similar pairs. It does a nice job and I am pretty sure you can cut right around them. I've, like I said, I've used them previous, previous employers. I've got to make a cut right down a rib here, so we'll see how well that works. I might have to come down a little lower, but we'll see if it cuts across, angled. I'll do a little squirrelies and uh, curve radius turns, just whatever I can think of for you guys to help answer any questions you've got. So stick around the video. Link in the description if it's something that answers your questions, you think you need it. It was uh, close to a five-star, good reviews, and it did have Amazon's choice. So <laughs> it made me make want to want to buy it. So stick around. If you like it, thumbs up. This is a roofing channel, I will say, so if you think you like the content, maybe you want to follow along, click the subscribe button, ring the bell so you're notified, and if you got any comments or questions, leave them below. If you have any roofing-related questions, comment. Ah, yeah, I, I'll answer them. I'll message you back. Let's do it. All right, let's get into the box here. We got uh, what appears to be an empty box. Um, I don't know, what, what do you call these guys? fire starter looks like instructions an allen wrench that fell out of something let's get the uh, actual cutter out there's a plastic guard to keep it protected let's get this plugged in real quick i imagine this is probably to tighten these down if it gets loose maybe it's the only thing i can see for an allen don't need it let's plug this bad boy in and try it out all right so right off the bat i like the fact that you can turn just a little bit and it cuts slow or speed up. It also looks like there might be a trigger lock. Yeah, so it does have a trigger lock, so if you're gonna cut a long panel, you can get it on and just let her eat. That does look like it might be big enough to hook onto a belt, maybe. So, yeah, let's try this out. 19, we'll get it right down the crease there. Actually, it could probably shove back a little further, so 19 and a half. I think we're good. Let's do 19 or 19 and a half, see where that breaks. I did cut this here with a angle grinder. I'll uh, leave a link up in the description below too for that one if you like it. Ignore the crappy cuts. The bottom one you're not gonna see. I did have to get these ribs removed so the panel wall flashing can come in under it so it can make a nice bend past this part here. You know, so if these were here, it'd be hitting those. So let's get down and do our cut we need. All right, from the hook, 19, 19 and a half, right in that area. So we're gonna go 19 and a half, or actually probably just buzz right down the middle here. We will see how the profile fits. Let's see what we got here. So I imagine as long as it fits in here like that, or this, it'll make a nice clean cut. However, when you're in a actual crease, that may be a bit of a pain. So let's just run it right down right there, because. 19, 19 and a half. Yeah, I think that'll work perfect right down this. So let's let it just ride that and see what it does. It seems to work pretty good. First impression is nice. I don't want to stand on this panel over rocks. That's why I shut it off to step over, straddle, whatever. You stand on the metal on rocks, you could very easily get some divots in it, dinks. So I don't want to do that for this customer. Let's get back at it. I'm gonna take my jacket off. I feel like it's gonna get in the way of the camera.
pretty cool to put a swimming camera on there. All right. That was so much faster. And guess what? My forearm is not dead. It does have sharp edges, so be careful whenever working with steel. Wear your invisible gloves. Minor nude color. They uh, look good, don't they? Very fashionable. I have my uh, nude gloves custom painted with little fingernails and everything, so you, they, they're just lifelike, you know? Uh. Here's a scrap piece of apron. It's a single gauge, uh, single piece of steel, same gauge coming down, and it's hemmed over right here. So essentially, it's two pieces thick. We're gonna try. Start no problem, finish no problem. Be aware again, this bend, this angle is gonna be your hardest part trying to wrap around it. Maybe it'd be easier going this direction instead of the bottom side, because you're doing that as opposed to, yeah, you know, whatever, does that make sense? Yeah, that way went really good. That worked too. So definitely knowing what side. So even though we're cutting this single side first, this way versus that, the angle on that profile, trying to make that bend is gonna be hard as opposed to coming this way because that tongue actually drops down and it can make it a lot quicker. So definitely easier cutting on the top, bending downward. But right here, it's catching, so you gotta make sure you get over it. I guess if you need to, it might be easier to turn around and come in it this way. Let's see how tight of a turn it can do. So it doesn't want to turn very well. You can kind of get to an area and then bend your metal a little bit to change directions. So not really good at cutting around. There is what we called another tool in the past, a nibbler. And it actually had a, a die with a piston that goes up and down with round, obviously it was a piston. So as it cuts, it actually punches out like a hole punch and overlaps and cuts out a hole punch. And you can actually turn any direction with that. It worked really good. Quite a bit different tool than this. Maybe if I get enough likes, I might go buy one and show you a review. So let's try this right here. So yeah, actually, let me rephrase that. Cutting across the little ribs, cutting over the big ribs, it is gonna work. You are gonna be a, a need to be a warned, I guess, that you're gonna scratch it. So I would not do this on cutting the length of a panel that's gonna be exposed. However, on the flip side, if you're cutting it up, say near a ridge, it doesn't quite matter because your ridge cap should cover all that. You're gonna have to also flex your panels. So good luck trying to do it while it's partially screwed down. You're gonna need to fold the panel. The biggest reason is you're trying to take a piece of bent metal and work it into it or you know kind of going up and over the rib also as this hits the bottom valley here so you can do it it's not real effective but it can be done okay so my personal overall opinion it's very affordable at like 55 60 dollars totally worth its cost if anything it's going to save you on the long straight cuts it's going to save your arm so totally worth having in the tool chest unfortunately cutting valleys cutting angles cutting radiuses it's not going to work for you there so keep that in mind it will, however, rip through the ridges 
the high parts if you can flex the panel so don't count on doing that if it's partially pinned down but if you can lift the panel and roll it into a taco you can roll over those don't do it on a bottom e where it's going to be visible up on a top ridge where it's going to be hidden by ridge cap that is good so like i said from me i think it's definitely worth it probably invest in a, a nibbler to cut valley pieces so definitely worth having Maybe if you have the nibbler, you can have two guys cutting pieces and really speed up the process. So I recommend it. Hope the video helped you. Like I said, please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. It just takes a second. Scroll down, smash it, make it blue. Got any comments, let me know, and I will answer you back. Me. That's got to be worth something. That's got to be worth a thumbs up. Please. Till next time, be safe. See you then.